so in front of me I have two Harry Potter unofficial cookbook type things. Um, I got this one in the mail since this today, which it came out this year. This one came out in 2010, so I'm going to talk about this one first. Um, not sure if a lot of you have this. I'm pretty sure, but it came out in 2010. It's the unofficial Harry Potter cookbook from cauldron cakes to a bunch of other things. It has over 150 recipes, and it's by Diana I'm not gonna try to pronounce it. Well, I just tried, but it's gonna, yeah. Um, this is this is the unofficial and unauthorized. It is not authorized, approved, licensed, or endorsed by J.K. Rowling and her publisher or Warner Brothers Entertainment. I haven't tried making anything out of this book, but I will try doing it one day. Um, it's really cool. Well, the pages look really cool. Yeah, I have paper in here because these were butterbeer recipes I got off of um, Magonet because this book does not have a butterbeer recipe. But this is just like a basic look at how the pages are laid out. And if we put this on the side, you can see the pages are ruffled like if it was actual parchment. But yeah. So if you guys have any questions on this book, you can either buy it off of Amazon. It just put Harry Potter cookbook in the search engine and it will pop up. The cheapest you can get it for now is about 760 and shipping and handling or you can probably just go into the used section of the Amazon listing and it'll tell you all different prices. I think I even saw some still going for 30 bucks cuz they're marked under as collectibles. But what I really wanted to talk about is this lovely uh, sweet shop kit. Originally I thought it was just, it didn't look this huge inside or on the picture. Um, first of all, let me tell you, talk about the prices. It's based on the New York's best selling book, the unofficial Harry Potter cookbook. It's the unofficial Harry Potter sweet shop kit. And then from peppermint to sugar mice, conjure up your own magical confections. And I guess, again, it says this is unofficial and unauthorized, blah, 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 blah. And then warning, choking hazard has small parts, not for children under the age of three. And then Diana, her name. And up here in this corner, it says for ages eight and up, adult supervision required. Now let's take a look at the box. Sorry guys. Okay. This is the first size. It says unofficial Harry Potter sweet shop kit. And then it says lemon drops, um, ice cream, frazy sherbet, tea ice cream, peppermint. So it tells you basically everything. Now, you go on this side, it says the same thing. It says it on all four sides. So here we have the bottom of the box. There is the scan code, which if my camera would focus. Um, basically it says it's $24.95, but Amazon has it on sale right now for $16.47. I actually got it for $17 because Mogonet had posted up a link offer, which is basically for a 20% off of the price. So it came out to about sixteen forty seven, and then the twenty percent off just took off most of my shipping, which was three ninety nine. So Mongolia actually paid for the three twenty nine. So I ended up paying seventeen seventeen. Um, they said that that coupon was good for the first two thousand fans. I'm not sure if they hit the two thousand fans yet, but I got mine right when they posted it because I was gonna buy it anyways, but. Since I saw that, I figured I'd get them some business or some credit and get this for myself. 
As you can see on the back of the box, it says your complete kit for creating simple magical candies. And then inside you'll find the book and then everything else you're going to need. Again, I didn't think the box was going to be this big. And when we open it, you're going to see why I think this box is ridiculously too big for what's coming. I'm going to put you guys down for a second while I open the box because I can't do it with one hand. Apparently I can't do it with two either. Okay, there we go. Now, the inside of the lid is this checkered thing. And you can see right there I have gold little ribbon things. Those gold little ribbon things are for... Take these out of the way. The little baggies. They brought you cute little baggies. So this is a cute little thing. Now, when I saw these the first time I opened the box, I didn't know what these were. So, if you guys take a look, you guys can guess before I show you what it actually is. I'm going to put this aside. And then here is the actual booklet. The book is a lot smaller than what this book is. And you would, this book actually fits inside of the box if I were to take out that purple lining thing so I was originally thinking it was a book this big but it's not <laughs> it's actually this big which is like the size of my hand I haven't looked inside the book yet so I'm not sure what I'm gonna find but by the looks of it I just saw pumpkin juice Butterscotch brew. Supposedly butterbeer is in this booklet. Which I'll look for it. But either way I still have one recipe in here that I like. That I made of butterbeer and this, this paper off of Muggle Net. Um, that's another thing. If you guys want me to do a how to make butterbeer video. Let me know in the comments below. And I will sure do a how to make butterbeer. And the butterbeer I do tastes the most I've ever tried the most exactly the closest I can get it to the one from the park so if you guys want me to do that leave it in the comments below taking out this cupboard box and you inside and the only thing you see here are the cutouts or the cookie chocolate making trays so like I said before if you guys remember I said these these are actually the broomstick handles for these. You put the broom, the stick right here, and then you have a broomstick of chocolate or whatever you're going to make. You get two of the broomsticks, two f chocolate frogs, um, three bugs, whatever you, the type of bugs those are, and then you get two owls at the end. I'm uh, not sure when I'm going to make these, but I'll probably do it soon. And if you want me to do a video while I make some of these, leave it in the comments below and I'll also make a video. So this video is about 9 minutes long and yeah, I think I'm going to just end it there. If you guys have any questions, again, leave it in the comments below. And thanks for watching.